Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 4530 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can swipe the mechanical hard drive in here with a solid state drive. It's really easy and I would highly recommend you guys because they do come in an iCore 3 or iCore 5 processors which are really good processor but the bottleneck on this uh, laptops is the mechanical hard drive because the limitation of the speed on them. So once you upgrade to SSD hard drive, you're going to see humongous in performance increase. And I would really highly recommend you guys to install Windows freshly. Do not do any cloning of the whole hard drive. Before we start the process, you want to back up your files to an external hard drive or to a cloud somewhere. And then you want to power it off completely. And then you want to remove the battery on the bottom cover. This one is already missing a battery. All you need to do to pull these two triggers away and push towards each other and the battery will come out. Just remove the battery. Next, you want to remove and grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And we're going to remove one screw on the bottom cover, which is right under the battery right over here. Go ahead and remove this screw entirely. Once you remove the screw, next all you need to do is to pull these two triggers really hard all the way to the end and you're going to realize the cover is being pushed down towards front end of the laptop. And all you need to do is to grab it and pull it up and push it to one side. Now down here, the hard drive is right here under this black cover. I already ripped this cover by accident but nothing is going to happen. This is just cover is in here. So when you look through this gap, you don't see a shiny stuff so pretty much you see a black cover is static so there is no reason you can even rip it apart nothing is going to happen all right so this is your mechanical hard drive and to remove it there's four screws holding it down by a caddy a caddy is piece of metal to hold the hard drive hard drive in place so go ahead and remove these tiny four screws one on each corner all right, once you remove the screws, all you need to do is to grab this handle and pull the hard drive towards the left side. And you pull it like that and you're gonna see a gap opening right over here. Once you see the gap and just grab the hard drive, bring it up and bring it like this. I already removed the screws for this one. I forgot to put them back in. You wanna find out four screws on the hard drive, four tiny screws, one on each corner, two on this side and two on this side. All you need to do, once you remove these two screws, you can just grab the hard drive from here, pull it out, bring it here. Now next, all you need to do is to grab your solid state drive. I'll leave the link for some of the good brand solid state drive. This is a really not a good brand, but what clients brought it in. All right, to put the in, make sure the orientation for SATA and the connector is facing the same way as this one over here. So you want to put it back down right this. Once you have it in the place right there, all you need to do is to put the four screws, two screws on here and two screws in here, which I'm not going to bother with right now. And once you have it in there, just bring it down, push it with an offset position, the back towards there and put it down and then pull it towards the jack. And there we have it. Once you have it in this position, all you need to do is to put the four screws for the hard drive. All right, once you have the hard drive in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it with an offset position, put it right in here, and slide it towards the battery. And the last thing down here would be to put the bottom screw on the cover right there so it doesn't go back down. Again, remember this hard drive doesn't have any operating system. I made a video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive and a video how to install it on an HP laptop. You want, I'll leave those links in my video comment if you guys want to follow it. As always, I hope this video helped you guys out. And if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in my video comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.